Uh, we have already finished with the beekeeping, how beekeeping happens. So let us see how are we going to, let us do a test to understand how much you have understood about beekeeping. So, uh, dear students, yesterday we have discussed how does this process of beekeeping takes place. So, now you have got uh, these steps. We have got four steps. So, please arrange these steps in order and show me, you know, which one comes uh, first. Like beekeepers get honey from the honeycomb. Bees collect nectar from the flowers. Honey is stored in honeycombs, uh, in hives, nectar is converted into honey. So these are the five steps uh, which you have to, uh, uh, you know, arrange in order and to let me know how is it happening. I want this order. Very good, Nadia. It is perfect. Two, four, three, one is the perfect answer. So Nadia gets five points for that. And let us go back to the next session. So this shows that you have understood it very well. Thank you so much. So now with this, we have completed our uh, session on beekeeping. And now let us see what do we have in store from uh, fishing? You know, fisheries. Fisheries is another important, uh, uh, you know, rearing and farming department, which we are going to see now. So, so before we go there, there's an interesting activity. Who can do this? Can you all see the screen? You have to label the parts of the fish quickly and whoever does this first will get five points. So you have got all the words on the top of it, scales, gills, water, fins, vertebrae, and oviparous. So you have got fish live in the dash, fish have dash and dash, fish breathe with their dash, fish have bones in their bodies, so they are, so they are dash, fish lays eggs, so they are dash. So these are all what you have to fill up is also the hints are given into this box. So fill up this, complete these sentences and label the parts in the fish and quickly share it into the 
chat box. And again, labeling also, I'll give you one, two, three, four in the boxes. You have to tell me what is one, what is two, what is three, and what's four. So quickly, I'm waiting for your responses. So very good. Fish lives in water. Fish breathe with the gills. Good. Then. So you have written fish live in the in water. Fish have gills, okay? Fish have gills, you have given? No, that shouldn't be. A fish breathe with their gills is correct. Uh, then fish live in water. The next sentence is fish have dash. What is that? What do they have? Their bodies uh, looks like what? So then what, what is the next one? Are you all able to get it or not? What is the second one? Very good. Uh, the word, this answer is correct. Fish has bones in their bodies. So they are vertebrates, very good. Uh, so they are vertebrates. Now, what would be the next? Fish breathe with their, the third one, nobody wrote. What is that with which the fish breathe? Fish breathe with their gills. The answer is given, very good. And then fish have got what? Second one, nobody is getting. Fish have got scales. scales and fins fin without fin it cannot swim so uh, fish lives in water fish have scales and fin fish breathe with their gills fish have bones in their body so they are called vertebrates fish lay eggs so they are oviparous very good now labeling the parts who has done with the labeling of the parts so the first one you see is gills, second one are fins, third one is the scales, you can see the scales on its body, and fourth one is also a tail fin, the last fin with which helps the fish to swim. So now everybody has seen how does a fish looks like, and let us see uh, how, how, you know, the fish is helpful to us. And how can we have fish rearing and fish farming? What is required to for a fish farming? Then we talk about two types of fish. You know, they, the fish are found in two types, that is seawater fish and freshwater fish. Freshwater fish, you see it in the lakes, ponds, rivers, 
whereas seawater, they are in the oceans and the seas. So fishing can thus be done both by capturing and culturing. So we, the, uh, <coughs> to uh, culture the fish, we need to have a very good, uh, you know, ecosystem where the fish can grow. So marine fisheries, Indian marine fisheries resource includes 7,500 7, kilometers of the coastline and the deep seas beyond it. And popular marine fish varieties, uh, you mostly will, we eat is pomflet, mackerel, tuna, sardines, and bombay duck are very popular fish for eating with good nutritive values that are available in India. So please go through this, and if you have got any doubts, ask me. So no doubts, uh, we can proceed further. Now this is uh, very important, what we generally do with the seawater fish. Uh, so we see all this content, I'll be posting it even in your groups. So here, if you've got any doubts, please do ask me. Uh, one thing through which we get is, you know, catching fish. So marine fish from the seas and the ocean, we generally catch these fishes using nets, fish boats, and, uh, you know, large, um, large scales of fish are open in the sea using, it's not schools, it's scales, using satellites and eco-sounders. So scientifically, we are using satellites and there's an eco-sounder that is So uh, now these, uh, these eco-sounders that give us an indication that fish is there. So certain marine, whenever we are calling about marine fish, that means we are talking about the fish that is present in oceans and seas. So they have got a very high economic value because, you know, everybody want marine fish has got more nutrition than, you know, freshwater fish. They, they, so ever, there is a high demand for it. So the value is more and, uh, and these fish, fin fishes are like mullets, betki and pearl spots. And we even have the shellfish such as prawns, mussels, oysters. They all we are getting from the seas and oceans. And oysters are also cultivated like, you know, we are cultivating fish. Oysters are also cultivated. Uh, for the pearls they make because oysters make pearls and pearl is having a, a high demand in the decoration market and the jewelry industry. So marine fish stock gets further depleted as the demand for more fish can only be met by such culture because they, we need more and more fish. The world needs fish, but we don't have that much requ required fish available in the seas and ocean. So it's mirai, this culturing is required. Like we were doing cattle farming, beef, cattle farming for the meat and milk, and then you have seen poultry farming where we were taking fowl, eggs and flesh for our food and bees for honey. And similarly, fish also, we had need to go for culturing it. So uh, anything else, anybody has got, need to ask any question? Please type your question in the chat box. So this is how, you know, aquatic aquaculture. So how is this fish culturing takes place? If you look at, uh, you know, in uh, land fisheries, there are fisheries uh, are uh, of two types. We call it as an inland fisheries. Uh, there is fresh water and brackish water. So in fresh water, you see that it is uh, cultured in canals, ponds, reservoirs, and rivers. And brackish water resources are seawater, fresh water mixed together, such as estuaries and lagoons 
and are also important fish reservoirs. To see that, we are going to show you one video also, which gives you a clear picture how this aquaculture takes place. You know, how are we capturing fishes is done in inland water bodies. And uh, the yield is not very high. So most of us, we are doing aquaculture. Aqua means water. So we are culturing fish in the water. So fish culture sometimes is done in combination with the, uh, you know, rice culturing also, rice crop along with the rice crop. So this is also very interesting to see how rice, uh, this fish culturing is taking place in the paddy fields. And uh, more, more incentive fish farming can be done in composite fish culture system. Both local and imported fish species are used in such systems. So let us go and see how it is happening. Uh, you can see that uh, in such uh, system, a combination of uh, five or six fish species, fish are, fish are also of different varieties and species. So a combination of five to six can uh, be cultured in a fish pound. And these species are selected so that they do not compete for food. So what we do is we select such fish that every fish will have different, uh, you know, food habits. So they will not compete for each other foods. Everybody likes different foods and that type of foods. And these type of fish are cultured. Certain times, you know, big fish will eat away the small fish also. So we see that the fish which does not eat that small fish, they are selected and kept in one place for culturing. Otherwise, you know, again, this culturing uh, will also face uh, losses. The farmers will, the business will go in loss until and unless the farmers doesn't have the knowledge of the types of fish and they select and uh, put them into the right place. So if you see the cutlars are surface, cutlars are one type of fish which are surface feeders. Uh, they take their feed only from the surface. So we give them the feeds which floats on the surface. Whereas the rohus are the one which is in the middle zone of the pound. Their food, they eat the food from the middle zone. And uh, mrigals and common carps are the bottom feeders and the grass crabs feeds on weeds that is in the, uh, uh, in the lowest bottom of the pounds we find. So together these species can use all the food in the pond without competing with each other. So that way we have to select these fish based upon the food they eat and then we have to culture them together in one group. And uh, one more problem that uh, most of the fish, fish farming and culture people face is the monsoon because the climate can, it can rain anytime. Even if the fish seeds are collected from the wild, it can be mixed with that of uh, the species as well. So major problem in fish farming is lack of availability of the good quality seeds. And to overcome these problems, what, we, uh, what ways have been done is they are using the ponds for the hormonal stimulation so that this ensures the supply of pure fish seed that is in desired qualities. So this is how the fish farming takes place. So this video will show you how the fish farming uh, takes place. So see this uh, video and try to understand how is it happening.
So this is how the, you have seen how interestingly the fish culturing was taking place. So this video will be posted to you. This will help you in writing your answers. This ends your foot for animals. Complete your question and answers and see you back in the